the TNA Sports Network, the number one place for unbiased boxing news, fight predictions, fight breakdowns, and film studies. Make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button on the way out if you want to show love to the channel. All right, all right. Let's get right to it. This is the Devin Haney versus Regis Progre film study. Let's get it. Regis Progre is a come forward pressure fighter who uses upper body movement and feints to create openings and work his way on the inside. He's looking to land a big left most times. Although effective, the time and the rhythm of his repetitive motions can be an issue for Regis going up against some of the highest opponents. You see, lots of upper body movement, lots of body feints, lots of shoulder dips left and right, fake slips, feints, and everything as such. But it's mainly body movement, upper body movement. Look at his lower body. His lower body is not moving much. Boom. All right, so we want to talk about Regis' jab. So, <clears throat> Regis often only relies on that upper body movement and slips to work his way on the inside. Oftentimes, that lack of creativity and lack of jab use leads to issues when he's trying to work his way on the inside. Regis does throw a jab, but it's more so of a pity petty jab. He sometimes changes his up by throwing two pity petty jabs or three pity petty jabs. But it's no real intention with this jab. It's highly telegraphed because he does a shuffle step, step normally right before he does each jab. Um, there's a shuffle step, one jab, or shuffle step, double jab, shuffle step, triple jab. But it's a pity patty jab. Like I said, it has no real intention behind it. It has no speed change, no rhythm change. Um, so that is, it'll be easily picked up on by some of the highest. Um, level opponent. See, when he once went up against Zaria, Zaria was able to see when the jab was coming each time and just take it one step back, half step back, two steps back, and just step out of range. And you'll see Regis miss a lot just simply because of that. So watch for the shuffle step. He does it twice in this exchange. And on the second time, Zaria going to time it. So shuffle step, jab. All right, so already you can see Regis doesn't have the best footwork, right? Kind of got slow feet, get stuck in the sand, quicksand, right? Um, while coming forward. He also is, is pretty square. Not completely square, but he, I think he's too square, right? So with him being that square, he's going to be susceptible to straight right hands. He's going to be aligned with that hand um, all night. Now let's pay attention to this Cambosis fight for a second. Not specifically the mechanics because Cambosis is orthodox while Regis is southpaw, but what Devin is trying to achieve and what he's actually doing to achieve it. He's maintaining the distance and he's keeping Cambosis from setting his feet by using half step, four steps back, two step backs, and well-timed jabs to throw Cambosis timing off. He can't set his feet, so he can't become effective. As we saw in the Zaria fight, some of these same methods can be implemented against Regis Progray. He's making an elementary mistake. I would think Regis is smart enough to know don't follow your opponent around the ring and actually cut it off. But throughout this entire night, he chose to just follow Zaria around the entire ring. All right, so we know Regis doesn't have the best feet. He doesn't have the best use of jab, best creativity skill. The holes in his offense, combined with the holes in his defense, combined with the fact that he doesn't go up against many orthodox fighters, I believe all this will, will spell trouble for Regis. I think he's going to have issues getting to Devin. I think Devin is going to be able to move around at will, and Regis 
won't be able to cut off the ring much, right? But all in all, Regis has dynamite in that left hand and in the right hand as well. So I'm giving Regis a puncher's chance, right? Puncher's chance in this because he could still lay you out with one shot. He could buzz you up real quick with one shot. Um, turn that to a 10-8, 10-7 round real quick. So that's the shot that Regis has in this fight. All right, that is the Devin Haney versus Regis Progre film study if you made it this far give us a like make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for our next videos if you definitely like this video drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about the fight let me know what you think about the video my observations and what's your uh what's your prediction for this fight coming up all right that's t from t and a sports network and I'm out. You're now tuned into the TNA Sports Network, the number one place for unbiased boxing news, fight predictions, fight breakdowns, and film studies. Make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button on the way out if you want to show love to the channel.